Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. Today I'm excited to bring to you our strip till series of our talking shit. So today we're going to really dive into strip tillage, the different versions of it that we've seen here at Fennig Equipment, and where we feel like strip tillage is going. We're going to start off with the Yetter Strip Freshener. Uh, the Strip Freshener is designed to be a high speed, uh, less disturbance of a Strip Freshener. Basically, what is it is designed to do is clear a strip with the residue managers, and then it's got a blade running down the center, and then two blades behind finished off with a rolling basket. This is a very low horsepower strip freshener type scenario. What I really like about this is, number one, again, it's low horsepower, so you can build a, a 30, 40, 60 foot bar and pull it with a tractor that could only pull a six row Molonite unit. Um, these are mainly designed for the spring pass. Um, you can incorporate nutrients with it. We've done dry fertilizer, liquid fertilizer setups with them to help get that weight off the planter and do it basically in a pre-plant strip tillage pass. This is the light duty side of strip tillage and there's not a lot of tillage being done here it's mainly a vertical tillage tool in a 10 inch row. So you're gonna move the residue, air out the soil, and create an awesome seed bed to maximize germination. No-till guys that, that wanna get a little bit better germination, this strip freshener is for you. Um, you guys that wanna make a 60 foot toolbar but don't have the horsepower to pull it, and maybe just wanna band some fertilizer one to three inches deep, this strip freshener is 100% for you. Now we're going to move on to the Yetter Maverick strip till unit, or I'm just going to ball it into a mole knife or shank style strip tillage unit. What we're doing here is this is a full blown tillage scenario. We've got a shank that is going anywhere from to eight inches of depth and we're really pulling that uh, soil up. This is mainly a fall pass. I've got a lot of guys that will band nutrients four to six inches deep with this pass in the fall. Again, we've got row cleaners, we've got a front cutter, a shank, and a rolling basket. This thing is extremely adjustable. From there, we're going to go into the fertilizer application side of strip tillage and talk about incorporating fertilizer with strip tillage or doing a fertilizer banding process. So, of course, Southford makes uh, fertilizer pull type dry carts. We can simply hook those either behind your strip till toolbar or they can also be mounted onto your toolbar. They're made in 4 ton up to 12 ton with single or dual bin section control. Uh, twin bin, um, prescription capable. These things can put out loads of fertilizer and also get you down to micronutrient levels as well. So blending those with a strip till scenario is extremely easy to do. Now I'm gonna to talk to you about another face of strip tillage that's not really tillage at all. It's just strip banding or fertilizer banding is what we call it. And what that is, is that is where you pair low disturbance opener like the Yetter Magnum the Yetter Nutrient Pro 4000, or several other colders with fertilizer placement. So we're basically going in there and we're putting fertilizer three to six inches deep, either in the fall or the spring, in an extremely low disturbance manner. So we're just slicing open the ground, injecting dry or liquid fertilizer in there, and the whole goal is to maximize the uptake of nutrients. This is a type of strip tillage or fertilizer banding that's becoming extremely popular as well. So when we talk about the faces of strip tillage, there's really several faces. You've got strip fresheners in the fall where you can just create a strip and put down some dry. You've got strip freshening where you're actually cleaning up strips that were made in the fall by your heavy duty strip freshener, strip tillage unit. 
And then you've got using Schrick fresheners on their own, then making the virgin pass with row cleaners clearing the way with the residue, and then doing tillage with the blades in the rolling basket. After that, we have got uh, our strip banding, our fertilizer banding system, where we're just putting down nutrients. And of course, we've got our heavy duty strip tillage system with the shanks. Fennig Equipment is familiar with all of these scenarios and all of these faces of uh, strip tillage and nutrient placement. We've built bars to match every scenario that I've talked about. So if you're looking to either get into strip tillage or do better at your strip tillage, maybe add fertilizer, or you want to just do the strip banding and you want to actually put it in a very refined zone, Fennig Equipment can certainly help you do that. If you would like to learn more information, give us a phone call or visit our website and our YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in.